Hi everybody, it's Kim from Delicata House. I wanted to talk to you about Ayurveda because I'm studying it. Um, I'm a second year student at Yogaveda Institute. And maybe some of you have heard of Ayurveda and some of you might be like, Ayur what, what are you talking about? Um, so I just thought I wanted to, because it's important to me and I think it could benefit you. So I wanted to talk to you about it. I thought I would do like a series of short lessons and uh, hopefully you will learn something and you'll find it fun and fascinating and perhaps wanna delve in a little bit more yourself. Um, so what is Ayurveda? It's the oldest healing system in the world. Um, and Ayurveda means science of life. So it is a medical system and it is science-based. It's not, um, you know, just some wacky <laughs> philosophy out there. The, it kind of came together over several thousand years, so it's estimated at like four to 5,000 years old. Um, one of my favorite books is by Dr. Vasant Lad, and it's this one is uh, volume one of the textbook of Ayurveda. And so anything that I am sharing today will be out of uh, what I've learned from this book in particular. So the purpose of Ayurveda is to heal and to maintain the quality and longevity of life. That sounds great, right? I mean, we all want to have a good quality of life and we want to live long. So each person, Ayurveda believes that each person is unique. We each have our own unique makeup. Um, and Ayurveda addresses body, mind, and spirit. So Western medicine tends to focus or allopathic medicine tends to focus on just your body. Ayurveda takes into account your mental state and your emotions and um, what's happening in your soul, your spirit. So Ayurveda talks a lot about five elements. This is kind of their, the foundation. And Chinese medicine also talks about elements. And so the five elements that Ayurveda talks about are ether, air, fire, water, and earth. These five elements support life, but when they're out of balance, then they can wreak havoc in our body or in the world, in the atmosphere. So for example, too much fire or heat in someone's body uh, could cause heartburn or fevers right think about heat so it's hot fire is hot so you know if you're someone that tends to get a lot of heartburn um if you get uh, skin you have a lot of skin sensitivity rashes um acne um that could be caused by too much fire in your body according to ayurveda um if you also like fire in your mind or your emotions would be like uh, being very like quick-tempered and irritable and um, and you can probably tell if you're someone like I tend to be that way so I know when I have too much fire like I've kind of I'm, I'm out of balance because I tend to be you know I'm like biting my tongue you know to keep from saying something that I don't want to say but I just feel you know so um, that's an example of how an element could be out of balance in somebody's body or for example uh, too much earth uh, the earth element which is grounding and steady and strong but too much of it in the body might mean obesity or <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> it could be a sluggish indigestion or sluggish digestion or even like in your emotions like a lack of um, a lack of motivation if you're just kind of stuck and stagnant it could be maybe because you have too much earth element um, and too much water for example might cause like swelling edema something like that so and then too much air which I I know that I don't I don't have any percentage but I do know that so many people I talk to today struggle with anxiety and struggle with uh, they might struggle with their sleep so they might struggle with insomnia and 
be fearful, and that's caused by too much air, too much air element in the body or mind. So those are just a few examples of what what the elements, like what these elements, yeah, what are you talking about? How does that have to do anything with me? Well, it they do because each element, we have all five elements in our bodies, and depending on different, um, could be time of year, could be uh, what we're eating, could be lifestyle, environment, all these different things um, can make certain things go in, you know, out of balance. And um, so in Ayurveda, so that's the five elements, air, ether, water, fire, and earth. Those are the foundation, kind of the basic basis of Ayurveda. And then out of these five, we have three doshas. So dosha is a word that you're probably like, I don't know what you're talking about. And um, doshas are, uh, basically they have three of them in Ayurveda that they talk about. So they combine two of the elements. So vata, which is air and ether, pitta, which is fire and water, and kapha, which is water and earth. So each dosha has like two main earth elements and then in our, our mind and our body, our mind and body that are always they're always working to keep us in balance and to like to bring us to homeostasis. Um, and we all have in our bodies we have these five elements. So then therefore we have these three doshas, right? Vata, pitta, kapha. We have all three of those. And they can we can have a dominant one, we can have of a um of doshas, we can have a dominant dosha and where we could have two that are about the same or one dominant a little bit less and then where we could have all three. We always have all three, but usually there's like a mo like a you know major one. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me. So we can have, we have a, the makeup or the constitution that constitution we are born with. So that's kind of our balanced state most of the time, and that's called Prakriti, which every time I mention these words that you're like, that's not English, that's Sanskrit. So um, it's from India. Um, and But Prakriti basically means the constitution, the physical and emotional and you know makeup that we had at birth. And then we have our present state, which they call Vikriti. So our present state could be could be the same as when we were born like we just grow up and we pretty much stay the same like size we you know as far as like our our body makeup like if we were uh kind of tall and thin then maybe we just grow up we're tall and thin our whole lives and you know if we were kind of an anxious um you know person that has a lot of quick movements and mind kind of scattered you could be that as a child and still be that as a grown-up and or sometimes things shift over time so with age, you know, with um, our diet, with our emotional state, um, the time of year or where we live, our, our, you know, our environment. Um, so a lot of times over the course of someone's life, they might be kind of, they might be a healthy person when they're young. And then as they get older, things start to get more and more and more out of balance. And so that's what Ayurveda wants to address is those 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 elements in our body which we combine them into the three doshas vata which is air and ether pitta which is fire and water and kapha which is earth and water and then it looks at um it, it tries to figure out our by with questions um a lot of times you have a consultation um, and you, or you take a quiz and you can find out, so what was normal for me when I was younger? And then what, what is my situation now with my digestion, with my um, body size, with, uh, you know, how is my mind doing? Do I have certain um, aches and pains, you know, in my body? What, what things are out of balance? And then Ayurveda seeks to help us heal and balance those doshas so that for our particular body and, and mind and whole makeup that we can be as much in balance and therefore live that good quality of life and live a long life on the earth. Uh, um, so 
your mind and, and, and body uh, type, like I said, Ayurveda very strongly believes in everybody has their own unique combination. So uh, it's not a one size fits all and it's, it's finding out what works for you. Um, not everything that you hear about or learn about, just like, you know, in regular like diets you hear about on, you know, in whatever, in the news or you hear about in a magazine or, or on a blog or something, you know, paleo, vegan, um, I can't even tell you all the crazy diets that are out there, but you know, the Atkins diet, all the different crazy little things that are out there. Some person that you know might say, oh, or, or like, um, you know, the... Uh, what's the one, intermittent fasting, you know, like my, that works really, really well for my daughter and it's not working for me. So, because we're different. And um, so Ayurveda isn't about following trends and fads and, and trying to get, you know, as thin as you can get. That's not what it's about. It's about bringing you as a person into wholeness and into health for you, for your body, so you can have your best life. And that's what I love about it. So there, it's not a one size fits all. And um, next time we are going to learn more about the dosha. So we'll talk more about what is a vata constitution, what's a pitta constitution, what's a kapha constitution, um, what are some characteristics of each of those. And you might start saying, oh yeah, that's like me. And that, that sounds like me. You might have some in each category. Um, and we'll talk about balancing and you know and and food and there's so much um there's so much fun i think it's fun because it's it's a whole lifestyle but it's not it's not a religion it's um just finding out what works for you and um so that's what we're going to learn next time and i thank you so much for watching today if you have any questions you can email me um uh, delicata house at gmail.com or you can dm me on instagram and also, if you want to learn more about Ayurveda on your own, um, you can um, do, Yoga Veda Institute has a free 10-day course. It's called Sister Science, which I highly recommend. And I'm going to include a link. If you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a link in the description that you can click on. And then if you're uh, watching on Instagram, you can go to the links in bio and I'll have a, a link there. And you can use my link and just get right into the free course. They're going to be uh, doing like a live thing. It starts tomorrow actually, the November 15th, but you can do this course at any time. And uh, it's very helpful to start understanding you and understanding your body and your mind and, um, and appreciating who you are. So I will include that link, and if you want to uh, learn more, just uh, I, I suggest that 10-day course with Yoga Veda Institute. That's my, um, my school where I'm studying, and I love the people at Yoga Veda. So, okay, I will talk to you soon. Bye.